Fortress Inquisitorius was the home base of Darth Vader's elite group of Force-sensitive hunters, responsible for eradicating the Jedi from the galaxy and locating young Force-sensitives who would grow up to serve the Empire. For the first few years of the Empire's reign, the Inquisitors worked out of Coruscant, but would later move to the water moon of Nur, located in the Mustafar system, in order to maintain the secrecy of what really took place within the Inquisitorial headquarters. Despite the dark portrayal of the Empire to us, the audience, many Imperials were not even aware of what went down within facilities like Fortress Inquisitorius, not to mention the rest of the galaxy, who the Emperor did his best to manipulate into believing that the Empire's first and most important priority was to ensure peace, justice, and security for all. What really went down within the confines of the Inquisitor's headquarters was far more sinister than anyone on the outside would have guessed. Though the fortress had many functions, one of its purposes was to hold captured Jedi, who would be questioned and tortured until they turned to the dark side, becoming Inquisitors themselves. Although not every Jedi who was brought there did end up falling, the tactics utilized by the Inquisitors in the interrogation chamber which was designed by Darth Sidious himself, were extremely difficult to resist, as a mix of physical and psychological torture literally drained a Jedi's will to resist the dark side. Because of this, Jedi Padawans, or members of the fallen Jedi Order who had already had some predisposition to potential corruption, were prime targets for Vader and his Inquisitors, as the likelihood of these individuals resisting their methods was very low. Still, some Jedi were able to resist the Inquisitor's insufferable tactics, and if they were unable to escape, which most of them were not able to do, they may become subjects of Imperial experimentation, or even be killed for their unwillingness to comply. In one conversation among her crew, Hera Syndulla once referred to Mustafar as the place where Jedi go to die, implying that if the Inquisitors were unable to break a Jedi, the captives would then be sent to Mustafar, where they would either give in to the intimidations and superior power power of Darth Vader, or they would meet their fate at his hands. Fortress Inquisitorius, which was partially submerged underwater, was equipped with numerous high-tech security systems, including a flooding system, which allowed individuals within the control room to flood specific areas of the structure, or even the entire fortress, to prevent prisoner escape and unwanted breaches. The fortress, as you might imagine, served as a meeting place for the Inquisitors as well, where they could discuss future hunts, interrogation methods, or just sort of hang out and await their next assignment, if time allowed, although any potential downtime could be better spent in the training room, where the Inquisitors could polish their skills through a number of training techniques instilled by Lords Vader and Sidious. Darth Vader himself would pay visits to the Inquisitor's stronghold from time to time, as the Emperor had gifted these Jedi hunters to him, making Vader the one they would answer to for any shortcomings, which was a very uncomfortable reality that constantly loomed over each Inquisitor. And this is why the Moon of Nur was the ideal place for the Inquisitor's home. It was just a short flight away from Lord Vader's castle on Mustafar, where he spent a considerable amount of his time soaking in his Bakta tank and strengthening his connection with the dark side of the Force. But that is a quick summary of Fortress Inquisitorius and the purpose it served during the Imperial Era. If you guys would like more information on the Inquisitors themselves, I have a video on them as well, so be sure to check that out. But that is going to wrap things up for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a thumbs up to support the channel, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and of course, may the Force be with you always.